There is an accolade in this game that requires you to bank two million points in an Apollo. The Apollo is a car that costs over a million credits. It's very hard to get. I got lucky, and well, and I was persistent, and I picked this one up on the auction house for 700,000 or something. So, you know, a bargain. And the reason I wanted to buy it is so that I could get like the skill upgrades and stuff. Because that way I can make sure that my skill chain breaks in two hits, for example. And that I get slightly more points for some things. Otherwise there is a challenge card that someone has put together which gives you the car to drive, sets you on the airport, and you can just cut loose. But you can't take advantage of skill songs while doing challenge cards. And that doubles your multiplier, which means that you only need to rack up half the score. So, kind of worth it, but it does then give you basically a time limit. You know, you don't have to complete the combo within that time, but you can't start a new one. But it's a case of as any time a skill song starts, I just need to jump in this car and do what I can to rack up bonuses. It's not likely to run out from me breaking it. It's likely to run out from me doing exactly this. Yeah. Exhibit A. You overcook it slightly, and this car is very easy to overcook it, especially on the dirt. And you just spin, and you can't get credit for anything. If you're on dirt, you do not get burnout skills, pretty much. So you just you just can't continue it and that's extremely annoying because you can't just continue a skill combo just by breaking things you have to that'll be too easy so you have to mix it up with a drift or an e-drift something like that but if you drift in the wrong place you'll spin out and sometimes the game just doesn't want to recognize that you've drifted it's like yeah i've got all four wheels sliding it, the game just goes, no, nah, that's not a drift, I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> so you are fighting the game on a lot of levels. And you've just got to be patient. My biggest problem is that I will just get a little bit too impatient. Or more greedy, really. Not really impatient per se, more just greedy. And I'll go and try and add more skill doing different things. Like, oh, I'll just try and get that off right there might try and get some some of those tables and stuff there in order to try and get slightly more points you get the throwing shade for example if you break an umbrella you get ant food if you break a picnic table so it's all of these things that I'll be trying to add up just to accrue the score faster so the skill song has now run out. So that means if I lose this combo, it'll go down to a maximum of a five multiplier, which means you have to rack up more points. The key point is you just don't want to lose it completely due to like wreckage. You don't want it to be lost. Though there is also an accolade for losing a combo of at least a million, I think. You can do that in any car. There are much easier cars to rack up big combos in. This is not an easy car to rack up a combo in. But you just gotta kinda chip away at it. I like using the stadium as opposed to likes of the runway, simply because you can theoretically just race around and around in circles, just occasionally popping an e-drift like that. You've got complete control over that. And if you don't overcook it, you can just keep it going. Or you can overcook it like that. And now you've got to hope that you get a burnout skill and maybe a 180. And now you can go back the other direction for a bit. And just try and do the same sort of thing. Just pop an e-drift here. Get a bit of wreckage. Maybe we try and do a, a proper drift. For a little bit longer. There we go. And now we can go... I prefer to go this direction. It's just a... Maybe it's because I'm right-handed. I don't know. 
I just I find it better to go this direction. Now we just break some stuff after having done some drifts because we know that it'll count. Kind of want to drift and then wreckage. Drift and then wreckage. Get the odd combo here and there if you can. There you go. Basurero for breaking the bin. Get some side swipes. You can see the side swipes are getting me 1440, so that's what I really want because I have a boost to those. So I'm trying to make sure when I break things, I do it while I'm drifting. So almost halfway there. And you are very much living on a prayer. We've just got to be patient. Yes, we can do it quicker if we are gutsier about it. Let's get the only drift here. You've got to make sure that the last one has like completed before it'll let you get another one. Wreckage there. Good. Side swipe. Good. Come through here. Sure, let's break the picnic table so we get the ant food. No, we didn't get the ant food. And that's the thing is, sometimes it just goes, you know what? No, I don't want to give you the combo. And you're like, game, please. I know I broke a picnic table. Give me the ant food combo. I know I broke a rubbish bin just then, so give me the basarero. There we go. Thank you. D did, did that one. Didn't give me the previous one, though. It's, yeah. Very annoying sometimes. The game just goes, yeah, no, nah, I didn't see it. Sorry. I was looking the other way. I blinked. Into clay. So I'm getting extra points for just combos, as well as extra ones for side swipes in particular. That's why that one's like got a double boost essentially. Just gotta have a sense of timing of okay, this is when I need to do one of the e drifts just to keep it going. There we go. There's there's a rubbish bin there. We're over halfway there. So not only is there an accolade to get over two million in this car specifically, there is one to get 2.5 million in any car. And it's like, well, if I'm banking up two million already, I may as well push a little bit further even though it's not in the most optimal car for doing so, just to get the other one as well. Because the thing with the game is that beyond 500,000 skill points, it's all wasted. You don't get anything more for it. You get a maximum of 10 skill points from any redemption of skill score. So that's 500,000, because it's 50,000 per skill point. So, going into massive combos, other than for accolades, gives you nothing. <laughs> so gonna keep this going. We're just doing so many laps. We're going to be sick of this stadium by the time we finish. Okay, uh, and we've spun out. Okay, thankfully when we do it there, we rack up a few more things. Oh, I just got an e-drift in time. I didn't think it was going to give it to me. You have to be so careful sometimes. And, like, you can theoretically hit those golf carts without it losing your combo. Sometimes. But then other times I've had it that it has just lost me the combo from hitting something. I've had it lose a combo just from hitting a picnic table before. Even though that's something you should be allowed to hit specifically to get a combo. So I don't even know, man. <laughs> Bounce our way through there, maybe get some, yeah, got some two wheels, maybe get some air, that's always nice. 1.5 million, we're getting there. I'm just gonna avoid those tables. I should be able to hit them. But I'm just gonna avoid them because I've been burned before. And just smash our way through here. So to 2 million, we need to have 200,000 times 10. What's the betting we lose it when we're at like 190,000? That would be very us. Okay, 
To get 2.5 million, obviously we need to have 250,000. So that's our real target, is the 250,000. But so long as we bank the skill after we get over the 200,000, we're fine with that. <laughs> we won't be perfectly happy, but we're fine with that. Because that's the thing that requires this car, not a different car. Because there are some that are just easier to control. Like I could, oh no, I could be doing this pretty much all day with some vehicles, some of the Hoonigan vehicles. I could, yeah, literally be doing this all day. And there's a couple where the multiplier skill will go up to eight instead. So you don't need to feel like you have to have a skill song to make it worth it. It's not as good but it is better and also drift skills for a lot of those ones you can boost with the car masteries so they'll be getting like 20 percent extra for drifts and because you're punctuating everything with a drift that adds up over time even just the most basic drift becoming 125 instead all adds up that was a good drift exchange Please don't break. Oh. oh, you. Enjoy the video, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>